Sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, thanks very much. I yeah. found your, uh, your talk uh, refreshing, uh, all the more so the fact that uh, you had uh, dirt on your boots, so it resonated more with me. My question is to do with uh, the filming of casualties. Yeah. Um, uh, I agree with your overall point. I think, particularly where casualties, where coffins and things like that have been filmed, yeah. it can resonate with the public. My concern is, though, if you are filming uh, wounded or people in the process of being hit, when you're not there to smell the dirt and uh, to see the blood up close and you're watching it on breakfast TV, it becomes decontextualized and there's the risk of it turning into ghoulish entertainment and having the opposite effect. Yeah. Which is what your thoughts are right now. No, that's, that's a very good point. And, and again, and this came up last night when I was talking to my, my colleague, the, the, the networks now have stopped showing the beheading videos from ISIS. Um, I, I'm not in the camp that believes that we should you know, ban these from the internet. I mean, you can't really anyway, but you know, there's talk about should Facebook and... You know, I think it, 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 it's, it's going to get out there anyway, and there are certain people who will watch it. Some will use it to go off and, and commit jihad, but for most people I think it's, it's an informational thing. And you know, I, I, I'm a big fan of the First Amendment. I think you know, it, it's good that we, we have access to information. On the showing of US casualties, so we were very careful with these three dead Marines um, whom we, we showed. I called all their families before we showed anything on TV. I finally won the argument with the executive producer and we did show them on TV. Um, I called all their families. In, in one case it was a mother and in two other cases it was their wives, that's so their next of kin. Um, and you know, those phone calls, uh, when I st sat down to start making those calls, I was somewhat anxious. I wasn't sure what kind of reception I was going to get, but I had told my producer that we would not show any of this footage if, in any case, the, one of the families said no. To my surprise, the families were all actually, first, they were very uh, touched that a correspondent or journalist had taken the trouble to call them um, because they didn't expect to hear from us. Um, and secondly, they were more than supportive of having this footage shown. And the reason for all three families, and this was three separate phone calls and three, actually, Texas, uh, Missouri, and California, three separate states. Um, they all gave the same reason. They said, we are delighted that our son, they're all men, uh, our son's death will not go unnoticed. Their perspective was not, this will be offensive to us, to the memory of our, our son. Uh, it was more, this will somehow commemorate his service to his nation. It's all about the context you put it in. They were satisfied after I talked to them that I was not out to make a story that was denigrating the military or somehow calling to question the validity of what they were doing. I have some political questions about the war, but as far as I'm concerned, the Marines that went to do this were serving their country and should be rightly honored for, for, for what they did. Um, and when, when, they were, when they were assured that I wasn't trying to somehow denigrate what they did, all three families were, were actually very supportive. That gave me some strength when I was talking to the uh, executive producer in this very drawn out battle about whether or not we would actually then go ahead and show it. Um, to, to make the argument, you know, even the families want this shown. Does it risk becoming ghoulish on breakfast TV? I think it's the way it, it's packaged, honestly. Um, there are some of these videos that go viral and come over and over and over. Uh, we were pretty careful. We didn't show long, I mean, we had a lot of footage. We cut it. We just showed enough so that you, 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 as a viewer, you know what's happening. So you have to be very careful with that kind of thing. But, but completely banning it from, from the airways, I think, is wrong. Because uh, as I said, my bigger point, the costs of war need to be hammered home over and over. We should never forget the costs of war to any nation that's involved in wars. And I'm sorry if my comments sound very focused on America. You know, there are many countries at war, and, and many armies lose men. It's just this is my more recent experience. That's why I'm sort of referring to the U.S. forces.